He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. Well, when you've been in the secret place of the Most High and you're under the shadow of the Almighty, you've got something to say about the Lord. He that dwelleth in that secret place, we've talked about this before, the secret place is not, uh, you know, hiding away where nobody knows where you are or, you you know, you just disappeared and in a cave or someplace. No, that's not talking about the hiding place. It's when you get into the place which is you and God in His presence soaking in, uh, marinating in, uh, enjoying the presence of God. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are uh, pleasures forevermore. When, when you're there, it's just you and him. Uh, you can have a loving wife or family beside, but you can't take them into the. You can have family worship, you can pray together, but that secret place, it's just between you and God. They can have their own secret place where you can't come. But if you dwell in that place where you're in communion with God, when you're in fellowship with Him, when there's communication, not necessarily verbal, not a shopping list of core requests, but just being in His presence, you know, revelation can happen. Uh, understanding keys to situations can happen in, in a moment of time because he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. There are consequences or blessings as a result of that, better said, and that is, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, I, I, I somehow picture with that, you know, like the, the mother hen, and as she spreads out her wings and the little chickadees uh, run to get under the protection of her her wings should she signal by whatever means that it's time to come home it's time to get under the shadow of her wings so what happens then well there's protection there there's covering there and yes in many cases, there's, there's provision there. What I'm suggesting is another way of looking at seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In my sister's home, she's got a plaque, and she says, the most important things in life are not things. And so when you when you prioritize, when you spend time alone with God, Jesus made it very clear that your your Father is 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 waiting for you. You know, uh, get in the closet, close the door. Oh, that's a secret place. Uh, that's closing the door. Recently, there was a film. I think it was called War Room. And this woman, she renovated the closet. And, and made it into the place of not just, uh, not minimizing prayer, but there was intercessory prayer. We used to have the expression, laying hold of the horns of the altar. Or as Abraham uh, did, he seemed to uh, wrestle with God over issues. You can do that in the secret place of the Most High. You can talk to God, you can bear your heart. And you, you, you know something? When you get to that place in God, your desires are His desires because He placed them there. You don't desire for more stuff, things, cars, houses. You don't desire things. 
you desire those I use the word things again but uh, the purposes of God the will of God uh, the mind of God and and uh, that could be expressed in things I'm just so jealous of being in the secret place of the Most High. You've got to fight for it. You've got to have priorities. You've got to make time for it. Because life will not just part like the Red Sea and make time for you. No, you've got to decide that and make time to be in the secret place of the Most High. And then you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, there's so much more. Love you. God bless. Goodbye for now.